Hi guys, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Guys, let's talk about the relationship between Yenson Winke and Governor Fubara. Despite the happenings in Rivers, despite those behind the orchestration of the crisis and the tension in Rivers, Fubara has managed to maintain his calm. Fubara has managed to maintain his peaceful nature. And Governor Fubara seems to be very, very peaceful. Yes, he is a peaceful man and has revealed what is stopping him from taking drastic actions amid clashes with the FCT minister, Nyeson Wike. Governor Fubara has, has attributed his restraint in taking certain actions to his deep appreciation for his political benefactor. And this statement comes in response to accusation of ingratitude amidst the ongoing conflict between him and the former governor, who is now the FCT minister, Nyesom Mwike. Fubara had addressed these concerns at the government house in Port Harcourt on Monday while hosting stakeholders of the Quere ethnic nationality. The group included leaders from the Ogba, from the Ogbapo Ikwere Cultural Organization worldwide, the Supreme Council of Ikwere Traditional Rulers, others, and the Ikwere ethnic group encompassing the local government areas of Potakart, Obiakpo, and Ikwere, and Emoha is Nyeson Winke's ethnic constituency. And these guys had endorsed Governor Fubara's 2027 bid. Yes, they did. When they applauded the governor Fubara for his job well done in Rivers, how he has managed to maintain the calm, how he has managed to maintain the peace in Rivers State despite the happenings. And uh, the governor of Rivers State, Governor Similai Fubara, had assured the stakeholders that despite the political turmoil and those that are hell bent on frustrating his administration, his rule, he would maintain respect for all individuals and not act recklessly. And this assurance came during the swearing-in of barrister Emmanuel Frank Fubara, who had been screened and confirmed as a commissioner by the Victor Oko Jumbo-led assembly earlier that day. The, the, the ceremony took place at the Executive Council Chambers of the Government House in Port Harcourt. And during his address following the oath taking ceremony. Fubara had defended his recognition of the Oko Jumbo led assembly, asserting that it is the only lawfully recognized legislative arm in Rivers. So, those that are parading themselves as Rivers assembly members, they are wasting their time. He expressed his disappointment with the police for their lack of progress in investigating the recent bomb explosion in Port Harcourt. He suggested that the relevant authorities silence might be because the suspects were not his supporters. That is why they are silent. That is why the police is here to conclude on their investigation and release the names of those that were behind the bombing attacks in the states. So it seems that they are unable to come out with those names because they know those persons and they are in support of those persons and they don't want to mention the names of those persons. So Fubara has, however, maintained his calm in River State. And sometimes I imagine if Nyeson Winke or if Governor Fubara has the type of personality that Nyeson Winke has, do you think that River State would have been on fire by now now? The kind of character, the personality of Nyeson Winke, if it's the same as Governor Fubara, I'm telling you that Currently, Rivers would certainly be on fire because Nelson Wike is known for his, you know, for his controversial character. But then, Fuba is a peaceful person and has treaded with caution ever since his, he, 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 you know, got the position. Ever since he stepped into power, he has been treading with caution despite his fallout with his political godfather, Nelson Wike. He has been treading with caution. Now, I see Fubara's case as one that is tired of what's happening. It seems that Mwike tried 
to impose himself on, on him. But Fubara could not bear it anymore. He had to say, no, enough is enough. He cannot, you know, become a puppet to another person and had to say no. Fubara never rebelled against, uh, you know, uh, Yeson Wike. But I guess he was tired of Wike's uh, greediness, him wanting to control everything in River State, and Fubara has had it up to his neck and said, no, he will not take this anymore. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, Fubara has made uh, some certain pledges to the Ikwere people that regardless of what's happening, he will not abandon them. He will not abandon the Ikwere people. He even assisted the Ikwere Kansu, traditional Kansu. He gave them 100 million to build their Kansu secretariats. That was yesterday during this uh, press meetings with the, Ikwere, with the Ikwere clansmen. And that was how they declared their support for Fubara. They openly supported Fubara amidst the crisis in the state. They did not side with Nyeson Wike. These Ikwere people are Nyeson Wike's kingsmen. They said no, that they only recognize Fubara as the legitimate and the rightful governor of Rivers and no other person. Renouncing Nyeson Wike's, you know, reign in Rivers. So this is it. They gave him their support and as well assured that all relevant leaders of Ikwere uh, ethnic nationality, they also pledged their support to Fubara, even those in the, in the diaspora, they pledged their support to Fubara and pledged that they will make sure his administration succeeds because Fubara has never been a bad person. Fubara has never been an ungrateful person. I mean, if he was a bad person, they will certainly know because a bad character cannot hide for long. It cannot hide for long. And Fubara also noted his relationship with the Ikwere people as he called himself their son-in-law because his wife is also an Ikwere person. And also noted that he is more like an adopted son-in-law to the Ikwere people and would never abandon them. He made uh, pledges and made vows, donated about a hundred million for the building of their secretariat and also gave car to one of their council traditional leader that yesterday during this press meeting. So my country people, this is it. I mean, Fubar has tried his best to maintain the peace in rivers I'm, and I must commend him for that. You know, it is really commendable. Because if Fubara should follow Nyeson Wike the way Wike is following Fubara, I'm sure the people of River State will feel the heat. Because they say when two elephants are fighting, it is the grass that suffers. And Fubara must have seen that scenario and said, no, he doesn't want such for his people in rivers. And decides to tread carefully with Nyeson Wike. Despite talks from Yeson Wike that Fubara is an ungrateful person because he did not allow himself to be used as a puppet by Wike for his own selfish gains in rivers. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.